The release of DZBTO4 Destin Showdown brings in the next line of Divine Skill units with the Destined ones. In this video, I'll be going over the Destined one of Exceedance, Impaldio. Impaldio is a defensive deck that scales the more damage it takes and can also gain power without having to hit defensive triggers. So unlike the other videos, for this one we have to start with the ride line. So our grade 1 is Eno Progret, which whenever you ride it, you reveal an Impaldio from your ride deck and you put a System Code Exceed token in into your order zone. System Code Exceed is a set order that prevents you from riding grade 3s other than Impaldio and gives you the ability to have auto mod gauges. And while it's in order zone, whenever you take damage during your opponent's turn, you put a card from your drop zone face up as an auto mod gauge. Then if you have three or less auto mod gauges and you didn't damage check a trigger unit, then you give your Vanguard plus 5k. But if you have four more gauges, then you can just give your Vanguard plus 5k. So this essentially means that cards in your drop zone will go into the order zone as gauge and every time you take damage you're giving your vanguard plus 5k power making it easier to guard attacks and this deck scales the more auto mod gauges you have a grade two in the ride line is drossy volia which puts the top card of your deck as an auto mod gauge and then you put one of your gauges into your hand and then our main grade three is destined one of exceedance and polio so for counterblast one you put a card from your drop as a gauge and then you call a card from your top five then in polio gets the skill that all of your front row units get plus 5k power for every two gauges you have. This means that the more damage you take and the longer the game lasts, then Impaldio is going to give your front row more and more power throughout the game. Impaldio's divine skill is that you can last one to discard a card and Impaldio gains plus one crit and plus two drive for the turn. The timing of this divine skill is very important because the longer you're able to wait on it, then the more devastating it can be since you will be gaining a ton of more power the more gauges you have. And then making Impaldio two crit with four drive is really crazy. And if we weren't drive checking enough, primary rearguard of this deck is Vinstar. So once you have two gauges, it's an 18k beater. Once you have four, it can perform a drive check on rear. And then once you have eight, it will perform two drive checks on rear. So when you have Vinstar and Impaldio together, that can give you six drive checks within one turn. We also have a grade two called Nebula Invoke Dragon, which is a 20k shield if you have four more gauges. And is a 15k beater, but becomes a 25k beater if you have five gauges. So through Nebula Invoke Dragon and System Exceed, you have a ton of additional tankiness that makes it very hard for the opponent to actually push through. Here's our first deck list. This deck list is utilizing energy cyclers since this deck doesn't use energy at all. And then also during your Persona Ride turns, you're able to actually search for Vinge Star as well. And to really help find all of these pieces, we are playing Bald Raid in here since it can top 5 search for any grade 2 or higher. And because Impaldio and Vinge Star both use Catablast, we are also playing Bubble Mine in order to help refuel our counterblast. And this deck is also playing Fluctuate Buster Barrage, which is a blitz order that's really a 10k shield and also calls two different named grade two or higher units to guardian circle from your drop zone. So mainly with Nebula and Folk Dragon, this becomes a 30k shield off one card and that's not counting adding in another grade two to guard with. So really this is a 35k shield you can use in order to guard an attack. And then next is the budget deck list, which plays Taser Lage, allowing you to rest something the opponent calls during the battle phase. Mega Grago, which gives on hit counter charge whenever it boosts. Gather 2 2, which is an 18k beater if you have 4 gauges. And then also Cranked Vendor with Bustling Bleachers, which allows you to guard with your back row rear guards in order to help have additional shield. This can be really cool with Impaldio's search effect, so then you have more options on what you can actually pull instead of just normal units. So you could grab Perfect Guards off of it, and then you have this Perfect Guard for the following turn. This deck's early game is not that fantastic. You're really just riding up, swinging, passing. You'll sometimes call a booster. Realistically, the only grade 2s you'll be playing down early is Pantare or Cranked Vendor, which both of them help get cards into your drop zone in order to gauge for System Exceed. Then by turn 4, you really want to try to have 4 gauges by then. So then you'll have Nebula Invoke fully online, and you can also start drive checking off Vinstar, and your front row will have plus 10k power from Impaldio. And then from here on, you really just try trying to survive every single turn as best you can, and you want to hold on to your divine skill until you either think you can kill them, you know the opponent doesn't have perfect guards in hand, or if you're really running low on cards in hand, then you can use it in order to help refuel your hand size. And then your late game win con is Vinstar as well, which can give two additional drive checks. Because of how much you're drive checking in this deck, Eldo Breath is actually an active win condition in here, or just sacking the opponent out with crits. And because of 
love how much you're drive checking. You'll actually often hit more heals than the opponent, which allows you to take more damage in order to put more cards in the gauge off System X Seed. So a big thing to keep in mind is making sure you are really always at equal or more damage than your opponent, so then you're able to heal. And that is all for Impolio. Impolio is a very cool tanky deck that has a ton of ways to survive throughout different turns. And thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next one.